Hello students, in previous lecture we have studied about the Oswald dilution law for weak acid as well as Oswald dilution law for weak base. Similarly, we have discussed on the ionization of pure water and ionic product of water that is KW and the concept pH and pH and the relationship between pH and pH. Now we are going to discussing on the substances that are salts. All of you aware of that salts these are the substances these are the compounds which is found in the nature in the form of ores that means ores conager these are found in the deep in the earth crust and these salts present in the form of sulfates sulfides chlorides bromides iodides iodides carbonates bicarbonates phosphates phosphates nitrates fluorides cyanides oxides etc all of you studied about that salts are present in the form different form sulfates for example sodium sulfate potassium sulfate magnesium sulfate zinc sulfate barium sulfate like this zinc sulf sulfide form zinc sulfide magnesium sulfide sodium sulfide potassium sulfide chlorides bromides and iodides sodium chloride potassium chloride sodium bromide potassium bromide zinc bromide zinc iodides carbonates calcium carbonate sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate potassium bicarbonate phosphates calcium phosphate, aluminium phosphate, zinc phosphate, magnesium phosphate, nitrates, sodium nitrate, calcium nitrate, potassium nitrate, aluminium nitrate, fluorides, that is sodium fluoride, potassium fluoride, magnesium fluoride, cyanides, sodium cyanide, potassium cyanides, and oxide form also. These are the salts which are found in the nature in different forms. These are found in the different forms in the form of ores. Ores, these are also known as minerals. Minerals of ores. Then, see here how salt formation takes place and salts which is obtained by the combination of or reaction between aqueous solution of acid and aqueous solution of base then it gives salt and water the reaction the concept which is related with it all of you studied about that neutralization neutralization it is a chemical process it is a chemical process in which aqueous solution of acid combines with aqueous solution of base and it gives aqueous solution of salt that is that process is called as neutralization you have studied about the neutralization in previous standard then see here the salt formation takes place from acid and base then then see here the types of salts 
is depends upon the salt which is obtained from which type of acid and which type of base that means here the type of salt or it is depends upon the acid that is weak acid or strong acid from which it is obtained or strong base or weak base from which it is obtained that means the salt obtained from acid and base it may be from strong acid or weak acid strong acid or weak acid or it may be obtained from strong base or weak base all of you studied about that the examples of few examples of strong acid strong base weak acid and weak base then see here strong acid generally it is hcl h2so4 hno3 etc then salts can be prepared from these four types of acid and base see here strong acid strong base and here strong acids hcl h2so4 hno3 or hi like acids are there strong base generally naoh and koh or lioh are the examples of strong base then weak acid that is ch3 cooh carbonic acid formic acid hcoh h2co3 hcl etc and weak base that is nh4oh caoh twice cuoh twice feoh thrice etc then the salts which is obtained from these acids aqueous solutions of acids of base then type of salt is determined from which it is obtained then see here generally there are four types of salts and nature of salt it may be acidic or it may be basic or it is neutral few of them salts are acidic while few of the salts are basic and few of them are neutral salts but the there are generally four types of salts are there depending upon the nature of acid or base from which it is obtained then we will discussing on different types of salts salt which is obtained from strong acid and strong base then the first type that is salt of strong acid strong base then we have to write the salt of strong acid strong base not only strong acid strong base then like that there are four types of salts salt of strong acid strong base second one salt of strong acid weak base third one that is salt of weak acid strong base and salt of weak acid weak base 
the senior, this type of salt is obtained from strong acid and strong base. First of all, we will discussing on it how salt formation takes place. Then see here when aqueous solution of acid combines with aqueous solution of base, then it gives aqueous solution of salts. Then in aqueous medium, the acid that is HA, all of you have studied about that. The general formula of acid is HA and the general formula of base is BH. When aqueous solution of HA reacts with aqueous solution of BH, then HA acid in aqueous medium, it dissociates to gives H plus plus A minus and the base in aqueous medium it gives B plus plus OH minus ion and here the H plus ion of acid combines with OH minus or ion of base because acid have tendency to gives H plus ion in aqueous medium and base have tendency to gives OH minus ion in aqueous medium. Therefore, H plus ion of acid and OH minus ion of base combines to gives H2 water and the remaining cation and anion that is cation of base and anion of acid interact with each other to give salt and BA type of salt that is the general formula of salt is BA that means it is obtained from interaction between cation of base and anion of acid salt formation takes place then the type of salt is depends upon the nature of acid and nature of base if this salt is obtained from strong acid and strong base then it is a salt of strong acid strong base then see here HCl, aqueous solution of HCl combines with aqueous solution of NH, then H plus ion and OH minus ion interacts to give water and the remaining Na plus ion and Cl minus ion forms the NaCl like salt. That means here NaCl is a salt of strong acid, strong base. Similarly, it's aqueous solution of HCl and aqueous solution of KOH when interacts to gives the salts like KCl. That means KCl is also one of the type of salt of strong acid, strong base. Similarly, we can write the more examples of salts of strong acid and strong base. Then see here in H2SO4, SO4 2 minus anion is there. And here in NH, Na plus cation is there. Therefore, Na2 SO4 salt formation takes place here, which is a salt of strong acid, strong base. Similarly, NaNO3, NaNO3, K2SO4, NaI, KI, and KNO3 are the few examples of salts of strong acid, strong base. 
then cl the second type that is salt of strong acids weak base cl strong acid that is anion of strong acid interact with cation of weak base see here if hcl and nh4oh in which nh4 plus ion of weak base interacts with cl minus ion of strong acid then it gives nh4cl which is a salt of strong acid weak base similarly here so4 to minus ion and nh4 plus ion when interacts then it gives nh4 to so4 that is ammonium sulfate then hno3 in which no3 minus ion is there and in nh4oh nh4 plus ion then it forms nh4 no3 salt similarly we can prepare the few more examples of salts of strong acid weak base that is ca2 plus ion is there or cu2 plus ion is there that cu2 plus ion and so4 to minus ion it forms cuso4 salt that is here cu cl2 cuso4 cacl2 are the few examples of salts of strong acid weak base then salt of weak acid strong base see here salt weak acid in which here acetic acid is a weak acid in which h plus ion and ch3co minus anion it combines with that is cation of strong base that is ch3co minus and na plus ion it forms the salt that is ch3co na similarly here hcoh that is hco minus ion and k plus ion it gives hcook salt that is potassium formed sodium acetate and here potassium acetate or that is k2co3 or na2co3 are the few examples of salt of weak acid strong base then salt of weak acid weak base see here weak acid in which ch3co minus anion of acetic acid and nh4 plus ion of nh4oh it forms the salt like ch3coo nh4 that is ammonium acetate hcoo nh4 ammonium formate as well as nh4 plus ion and co3 two minus ions it forms nh4 two co3 that is ammonium carbonate and co3 two minus ion and cu two plus ions which forms cu co3 are the few examples of salt of weak acid weak base then see here that is about the salts different types of salts and few examples of different types of salts then the nature of that salt it may be classified into only three categories though there are four types of salts these salts may be acidic or basic or neutral 
then the nature of that soil can be explained with the help of one more concept that is hydrolysis of salt all of you have studied the process neutralization that is hydrolysis of salt is nothing but it is a reverse process of neutralization then neutralization that is aqueous solution of acid combines with aqueous solution of base it gives aqueous solution of salt and water excess water is there that is the neutralization process this process is a neutralization process and see here neutralization process in which acid combines with base to give salt and water that means here the h plus ion of acid combines with OH minus ion of base to give water and cation of base and anion of base interact to give salt formation. The salts when dissolved in given amount of water that means salt plus water here the salt of any one out of this four type when dissolved in water then it gives acid plus base that means see here the salt which having general formula ba in aqueous medium that is in water when it is dissolved in water then it dissociates that means salts the ions of that salt get dissociated in aqueous medium that is b plus plus a minus that means here salt in aqueous medium dissociate to gives cation and anion and that salt dissociate completely almost completely all of you aware of that when common salt dissolved in water it dissociate completely and dissolved completely also and water that is pure water which dissociate feebly and it gives H plus and OH minus I. That means it dissociate slightly and the water which contain the equal concentration of H plus I is equals to concentration of OH minus I. That means they contains equal molar concentrations of H plus ion that is H plus ion means hydronium ion and OH minus ions. That means here salt when dissolved in water as a salt it dissociate completely and gives dissociated ions and pure water it dissociates slightly to gives H plus and OH minus ion and the pure water which contains equal concentrations of hydronium ion and OH minus ion and when salt added into it then here the cation or anion or both cation and anion interact 
with hydronium ion and OH minus ion and the solution becomes acidic or basic or sometimes it becomes neutral that process is called as hydrolysis of salt that means hydrolysis of salt is the reverse process of neutralization and see here we will define hydrolysis of salt see here when salt dissolved in given amount of water salt dissociate completely and gives dissociated cation and anion of salt and water pure water it dissociates slightly which gives hydronium ion that is H plus ion and OH minus ion and in pure water the concentration of molar concentration of H3O plus and OH minus ion are equal then the dissociated cation or anion when interacts with hydronium ion and OH minus ion then it gives the solution acidic or basic or sometimes it is neutral in very rare cases it is neutral then that process is called as hydrolysis of salt then there are two possibilities are there when the salt dissolved in given amount of water then there are two possibilities first one that is cation or anion that is ions of salts ions of salts it may it if it does not interacts do not interacts interacts with ions of water then a molar concentration of hydronium ion remains equal with molar concentration of OH minus ions that means here the concentrations of hydronium ion and OH minus ion remains equal and here salt does not undergoes hydrolyzed then second one possibility that is cation or anion of cation and anion of salts if interact with it, it interacts with ions of water see here cation or anion of salt cation interacts with ions of water or anion interacts with ions of water or both cation and anion interacts with ions of water and here the concentration of H3O plus does not remains equal with concentration of OH minus ion. That means concentration of H3O plus and OH minus ion does not remains equal and solution may becomes acidic or basic. That 
process is called as then it is said that the salt undergoes hydrolysis that is about the hydrolysis of salt then in next lecture we will discussing on the hydrolysis of different types of salt these four types of salts that is hydrolysis of salts of strong acid strong base hydrolysis of salt of strong acid weak base hydrolysis of salt of weak acid strong base and hydrolysis of salt of weak acid weak base that we we'll discuss in next lecture by taking example of one of the example of each type of salt and to determine whether that type of salt undergoes hydrolysis or not thank you